Sports and NASCAR's short film series, Beyond the Wheel. In tonight's episode, For the Win, we'll take an up and close look at the nonprofit whose mission is to get young adults off the street by introducing them to racing. Here's a clip. Sometimes you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And being a black male, get accused for something you didn't do. You're playing right now. You want to land back in prison? I started this racing school to give individuals like yourselves an opportunity to learn about the motorsports industry. This group was different because they were more streetwise. The power of manifestation and believing in yourself is real. We want to see you do well in life. You are our family now. Oh, it looks good. So Thomas Drayton is joining us live now at the Urban Youth Racing School in Fishtown. Hey, Thomas. <laughs> I just like waving the checkered flag because, you know, Alex, this is the closest I'm actually going to get to any kind of NASCAR racing. Look at these simulators right here. Each one of these bad boys cost about $10,000. And I would be driving it right now, but wouldn't you know they're going through updates, which is probably best because I'd be smoking the machine. Yes, this is quite impressive here. The Urban Youth Racing School and this guy right here for over 24 years. You're no new kid to the block. Anthony, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. 24 years ago, this was your brainchild. That's right. How did this all start? So I've always been a racing fan and uh, racing is a multi-billion dollar industry and because I grew up in a hood in southwest Philadelphia, I never really had access to this. I always dreamed about it. But once I got in a position to be able to do this back in 1998, I wanted to give kids an opportunity to be a part of this. If you want to be involved in the racing world, you either got to have relationships or money to be involved in it. So over the last 24, 25 years that I've been doing this, I've been able to make those connections and get kids involved in racing. It's been the coolest thing, you know. In fact, we're the only program like this in the country, so the that's only what it makes program it cool. in the country, by the way, we're right across the street, Rivers Casino mm -hmm. here in Fishtown. Mm -hmm. The only program in this classroom, as you look around, is normally filled. You've helped about eight thousand youth over that's the right. years. That's right. It's been over eight thousand students we've actually had over the years, and um, hopefully we can continue to grow that. But remember, we're kind of like a specialized program, so we only do 50 kids at a time, 25 8 to 12 year olds, 25 13 to 18 year olds. And we're against the wall. I know a lot of people are like, what are we? This right here, this is a history. This is a living wall. That's right. So most folks don't know that African Americans have a history in motorsports. In the 1920s, because African Americans couldn't race as the white drivers, they started their own racing series called the Golden Glory Sweepstakes. This gentleman right here, Charlie Wiggins, was a star of the Golden Glory Sweepstakes. They called him the Negro Speed King. So I don't know if you got, I don't know if folks remember, but John Dillinger, the bank robber, oh, yeah. back in the day, he used to build his cars for him. So, a lot of, for him. lot of history. I'm going to talk more about the documentary, Anthony, with you. I want to talk with Michelle, the COO. We talk about a multi billion dollar industry, and you're helping these kids get involved in the business here, absolutely. and it's absolutely free? It is 100% free for the students who come in. So what we do is we have Chevrolet, who's been our partner for the past 23 years. They come in and they foot the cost. If a student had to pay, it would be $2,500 per session. And anything, well, it's motorsports, so anything with cars and motorsports and revving them engines up, the technology, it costs a lot of money. Impacting lives and two of the lives right here, Josiah and Marlon. Good morning. I know you're trying to log in here. Now, you said you're a pretty good race car driver. Uh, yeah, I would say that myself. I won the championship here. Okay, all right. How long have you been in the program? Uh, since about April, a couple months. And this is a career that you want to follow? Absolutely. You think it would have been possible without a program like this? Absolutely not. I wouldn't have been introduced to this type of thing, racing, if it wasn't for this program. All right, we're going to talk real quick about the documentary that's coming out. Anthony, the documentary, it drops tonight. Where can people watch it, and what's the uh, documentary all about? Okay, so it's on FS1 tonight, which is Fox, um, starting at 6.15 p.m. The documentary is really more about the students who are part of the program. Three students who actually got in a little bit of trouble uh, with the law actually have actually been a part of this, and this has actually helped them in their creation as far as getting involved in racing and actually helping them with their everyday lives. As you know, motorsports is a, racing is a big yeah. thing in the city right now. 
really big thing in the city right now. And you really are just, you're turning lives around, saving but, lives. I mean, absolutely. Not only being a part of the program, a lot of this is court ordered as well. How can someone get involved? Where can they go? So you can go to our website at URS.com. That's URS.com. They can sign up there and sign up quick because they slots are filling up really, really fast. All right, we're going to get these bad boys up and running and I'll absolutely. kind of test my skills, see how good I am, right? Let, let Mike Jarrett and um, let Mike Jarrett know we're waiting for him to come. Oh, here, we're, so we okay. don't allow Mike to drive anymore. <laughs> it's, it's, I want to come it's too. It's horrendous. <laughs> Alex actually is a good driver. Y'all can come down. <laughs>